Okay, just want to take a few minutes to uh, show you a new uh, feature that came in the config manager um, on a recent update. Uh, is in pre release means it is not uh, finalized, it is just for testing, and it is called scripts. Basically, you can write anything that you uh, can script out in PowerShell and apply it to a collection of machines in your real time. So, depending on how you write your script, will depend on how the output of the data that you're collecting. Uh, I have some examples here. For instance, um, you can restart machines, force a GP updater, simply gather a uh, operating system um, name. So obviously in this operating system one, we're going to have an output that's going to be um, the name of the operating system, and it'll capture that data. So let's go ahead and show you that. Uh, I have a group of machines. I believe there's only five of these online. Um, but you come down here to run script. I'm going to right click or up top, either way you want to access it select your script. Let's go ahead and do a git operating system and go ahead and hit next and it's going to contact all the machines in the collection that are currently online and are healthy and communicating. And as you can see in near real time we're already getting data back. Uh, so we see four Microsoft Windows 7 and 110 of the five machines that are online. Um, it does provide a quick little bar graph or pie chart, um, data table, or you can actually get the details breakdown of every machine um, that you asked and what the script output was. Um, another example here, let's go ahead and run a different one. It would be a GP slash force. Now this one I did not put any logic into the output. The output's what GP force is outputting, but it will still capture that output. So it's not going to be as clean of data, but again, it's what you make of the script. Okay, so for this one we're seeing you're getting a couple different uh, outputs. Let's go look at it at uh, let's look at it at the pie chart level. Um, you can see two different uh, outputs: use policy complete a computer policy complete success successfully and updating or computer and user successful. Um, so again, if you put the logic in there and just uh, said if completed successfully, write successful. The only data it would capture is successful. Now, other options, um, enabling a Windows feature, checking to see if there's a particular version of software installed to uninstalling software. Um, if the uninstall command doesn't need uh, content over there, meaning that you can uh, access the existing exe in uh, program files, you can issue an uninstall command. Um, start services to restart devices. Let's go ahead and restart my devices here. So in the background here, I've got five different machines from ranging from Windows 10 to Windows 7 machines. And as you can see, they're already starting to get the uh, restart command. I believe they gave it a five or ten second um, restart command. And the script has already reported that five machines received it, uh, outputted that back, and they're all successful. You can run the exit code of the script and the um, status. So the script output would be if I um, intentionally wrote something uh, to output for the script on a restart, which I did not in this case. Uh, now all machines are in fact restarted. And that's that. So run scripts, um, pretty powerful. If you've got some ideas, um, write up a script and we can package it and start testing it uh, in your area. Thanks again.